What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Screen Fiends. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of a follow-up story on a recent segment that I did related to some of the backlash that John Campia received from his own audience recently when he essentially announced that he would be massively reducing the roles of his co-hosts on the panel, Chris Carr and Robert Meyer Burnett, the two most regular contributors to his channel. And if you guys remember from that video that I put out, the response from John's audience was almost universally negative, almost universally critical of the decision, saying things like, the show really works the best because of the chemistry that you guys have together. I don't just want to watch the John Campia show for the opinions of John Campia. I actually come here for the perspective provided by Robert and Chris as well, and think that the panel dynamic makes it a more entertaining and fresh show. So, like I said... Basically, everyone in John's audience called him out over that, saying that this was a terrible decision. Because of that, I kind of assumed that John Campia would do a course correction and listen to his audience and bring back Robert and Chris, restoring their full-time presence on the panel. But just last night, John put out a new video on his channel, and unfortunately, it seems like he's leaning into this decision even more than I would have ever expected. With this video called John and Rob's Announcements, Rob Servations and YouTube Channel Sponsorships. So I'll play a little clip from this video so you guys can basically get the gist of John's announcement here. And then I'll give you guys my opinion, as well as some of the reactions from John's own audience, which, as I'm sure you guys can guess, include a lot of really disappointed fans and people once again decrying this decision. But like I said, let's take a quick look here. I'll be right back to give you guys my thoughts. So for the last year or so, uh, Rob has been working pretty much full time. He's an independent contractor, but pretty much on a full time basis working with us here. Now, unfortunately, you know, a lot of the other things that we were going to do, some of them didn't materialize for one reason or another. Certain things didn't work out. And, you know, our afternoon shows were just, you know, they were costing more to make than they were actually making for the channel. And so it just got to the point where it didn't make sense. And I had sat down with the staff like about a month and a half ago and kind of went through the numbers. And from a business point of view, it just didn't make sense anymore for Rob to be full-time and thought about him just going back to just doing the John Campus show. Well, whereas it didn't really make a lot of business sense anymore for, uh, through no, no fault of Rob's or anything like that, but it didn't really make business sense for Rob to be on full-time anymore. For Rob, it didn't really make sense to be part-time anymore. So Rob and I sat down in this very office a couple of times and we started strategizing and trying to think of things that we could do or things that we could try. And some of them weren't very feasible and some of them we had tried before, whatever. But as we were talking, the notion of Rob's observations kept coming up because back when he left the channel for those three to four months, Rob went and really focused on his channel, Rob's observations, and he was doing some incredible things with it, like things that... We're really servicing the online community that you weren't really finding in other channels anywhere. Like when he was doing things like at the time he was doing like midnight metal and, and like he had uh, let's get physical media, right? And all like just that kind of content that you don't find online. And, you know, he was really pouring a lot of himself into that full time and, and he was really doing some really neat and interesting things. And I have always talked about on my channel about how nothing beats building your own thing and nothing beats working for yourself. I've preached that gospel a lot. And so as Rob's observations started to come up, we started talking about, well, what about the possibilities of Rob's observations? And so what's going to happen now is that moving forward, and we are both very excited about this. Uh, Rob is going to continue to pop on the show a couple times a month. So you're still going to see Rob around here. You're going to see him on our CinemaCon coverage. I'm still bringing him with us to CinemaCon and all that kind of stuff. And you're going to see me pop up on Rob's observations. But right now, Rob is going to pour more of his time into developing what I think is a space online that the fan community needs, which is a more fully developed Rob's observations. So yeah. It does look like Robert Meyer Burnett will basically be leaving the John Campia show. I don't think that's really hyperbole to say. Sure, he'll be popping on on a monthly basis or something like that. But the dynamic that these two have grown and developed over the years and that so many people, myself included, really enjoy while watching the John Campia show seems to be ending. 
it does seem to be ending. And obviously it seems like these guys are still on good terms. It doesn't seem like there's any ill will, at least not that's available to the public. If there is any bitter feelings, then it's clearly being kept behind closed doors, which is obviously the you know correct and professional move. But yeah, this is definitely unexpected. And again, given the fact that so many people within John's own community were upset about him reducing Rob's role on the show to basically just ax him altogether from the program, that's a pretty wild step. And I think that most people within John's audience tend to share that opinion. Let's take a look at some of these comments here from various listeners of John Campia's audience. And you guys will see what I'm talking about. Here's a comment from William Scott saying that John and Rob are great together. It's just not the same watching them both separately. They have a certain chemistry. And I totally agree with that. I think that they really do have a great chemistry. I enjoy watching John Campia when he just does his solo videos sometimes, but it's way better when he has Rob to bounce off of. It's honestly way better when most people have someone to bounce off of. It gets kind of boring just listening to one guy monologue and tell you exactly what they think over and over again. But if you have someone else there to contrast their perspective with, then in my opinion, that really leads to a much more lively discussion, a much more interesting exchange of ideas, and it's not so monotonous. So I I, to- I totally agree with that. I think that Rob brings out the best qualities in John, and John brings out the best qualities in Rob. And in the same way that I'm not super thrilled about just watching John Campia without Rob, to be honest, I'm not as thrilled about watching Rob without John either. I really do think these guys bring out the best qualities in one another and have developed a real chemistry as co-hosts. Here's another comment. I think both John and Rob are pretty good on their own, but when they're together, it's magic. And I totally agree with that as well. Um, Here's another one. Incredibly disappointing news. I have been a member of this channel as well as Rob's for a very long time, but the thing I've loved most about the John Campia show is the combined knowledge of film and the film industry that John and Rob bring when together. Rob has an incredible amount of industry experience that has proved to be invaluable to the show. So, and again, another really disappointed commenter. Here's one saying that this is like your parents telling you they're getting a divorce, but they'll still see you on the weekends. Best of luck to everyone involved, but this is a gut punch. Yeah. And uh, this is a sentiment I see repeated across the comment sections, people saying that this is like when your parents tell you they're getting a divorce, but they'll still see you on the weekends. Totally a gut punch. And I agree. I agree. Here's a comment with a lot of upvotes saying, I think the John Campia show will miss something. It won't be the same. And I agree. I agree. Again, obviously, John Campia is more than competent at doing his job by himself. He doesn't need a co-host in order to give good analysis and good commentary. But when it comes to the actual experience of tuning into the live show, I think that having contributors on the panel, other people, especially Rob and especially Chris, I think it really just adds another element that can't be replicated in its absence. Just having John and maybe one other person that occasionally chimes in, it's not going to be the same vibe. It won't feel as much like a fun hangout session between friends who just enjoy talking about movies, which is a quality that a lot of people come to YouTube for, right? A lot of people come to YouTube channels and YouTube shows for that feeling of, oh, I'm hanging out with my friends. I'm talking about what I love. I'm talking about what I'm passionate about. You know, let's hang out. That's a vibe that really attracts a lot of people to this space. And again, in the absence of Robert Meyer Burnett, I think the John Campia show will totally miss something, as that commenter said. Let's look at a few more. This one says, to be honest, and I don't mean that in a bad way, it was the dynamic between the two that made me excited to watch the show. It's a real loss for me. There were a few episodes with John, Robert, and Christian that were so awesome that I was really reminded of the good old days of Collider. Again, this is a dynamic these guys have been building for years and years, and a lot of people are just used to seeing John and Robert going together. So that's another big reason why this is so upsetting for a lot of people within John's hardcore fan base. Here's another one. Dave Miller saying, I saw this coming a mile away when John first announced that Rob won't be on as much because the afternoon shows weren't doing well. I guess I had the opposite reaction because when John's audience almost universally reacted negatively to that and basically said this is a terrible decision, I kind of thought John would backtrack and and bring on Rob and restore his status as a full-time panelist. But actually, in fact, he's gone the other way entirely. Here's another one saying, having Rob on the John Campia show full-time was pure magic and I will truly miss the dynamic. However, I'm also very excited since this is 
not really the end, but a new beginning and a new chapter in your careers. Already subscribed, Rob. Can't wait to see what exciting things you are up to. And that is a good positive comment. Obviously, despite the fact that this is a huge bummer, I do truly wish Rob the best. I hope that his channel, Rob Observations, is able to take off and really gain an audience and a community of its own because I think Rob's a great guy. He's a really, really solid commentator. I enjoy his analysis. And also, he just seems like a really, really nice person. So I really hope he's able to succeed without John. Um, and obviously, I second this guy's opinion. And I also will go subscribe to Rob's channel and make sure to check out what he's up to in the future. Here's another one. It's like Siskel and Ebert splitting up. You both made a good team. I think that's a pretty good analogy. They really do have a good chemistry together. Um, no way to spin this. It's a sad day in the John Campia show history. Best of luck to this new endeavor, though. Here's another one. I love John and his channel. I love Rob and his channel. John and Rob together, though, is greatness. Hope there's a way to make it more than a couple of times a month. I'm going to be honest. I don't like this. Rob added so much to the John Campia show on a regular basis. I'm glad to see Rob doing his own thing and seeing his channel grow too, but it's going to take me a minute to get used to the new changes. So yeah, like I said, almost every single comment is people saying, no, why? We love Rob's presence on the panel. John is great. Rob is great. But John and Rob together is a magical, magical combination. You guys have great chemistry. This is ridiculous. Why is this happening? And I happen to totally agree. Now, I know that John Campia is saying that it's not really financially wise to continue to have Rob on as a full-time basis. I'm not sure to what extent that's just an excuse or if that's legitimately the reason why he's made this decision to, first of all, reduce Rob to a part-time contributor rather than a full-time contributor, but then to basically get rid of him altogether and say, hey, you know, it's not really working out, buddy. Why don't you go work on your own channel? Maybe he truly does not have the money and it's simply not feasible to continue having Rob on, but Part of me feels like that might be a little bit of an excuse. I'm not sure why, but it just feels a little bit sketchy. And again, given the fact that the John Campion show is a huge channel, gets hundreds of thousands of views sometimes, lots of revenue. I'm sure they have tons of sponsorships. You guys know that John puts a sponsorship video in every single one of his uploads. So it's not like he's poor. It's not like he doesn't have the funds to invest in his channel and pay his contributors and co-hosts for the work they do. Um, it just seems a little bit odd that he all of a sudden is having these grave financial difficulties, which are preventing him to continue to feature his friend and longtime co-host Rob. But I'm interested to hear what you guys think about that. Do you think that John has truly made this decision out of financial desperation? Or do you think that that's a bit of an excuse? Maybe because his ego has gotten in the way, maybe because he just truly wants it to be the John Campia show and doesn't like the distractions of the other guests. I'm not really sure exactly what to make of it all, but one thing I will say is that I don't think this is a good decision for John Campia as far as the relevance and longevity and financial viability of his channel going forward because as you guys saw in those comment sections, people are pissed off. People want Rob there. It seems like from the feedback people are giving, Robert Meyer Burnett's presence on the show is a huge part of the reason why folks tune into the show to see him, to hear his opinion, and to hear him and John bounce off of one another. That's definitely a big part of the reason why I watch the show. And I'll definitely keep watching the John Campia show, mostly for John's industry analysis and his business analysis and all that stuff. I think it's really solid, but I'm definitely going to miss Rob. And I'm not going to lie. I might end up tuning in a little bit less often as a result of this news. But like I said, I'm excited to hear your guys' opinion in the comments below. It seems like these guys are remaining amicable. They're going to keep featuring on each other's channels. So I'm not trying to say this is a bigger deal than what it appears to be, but given the fact that almost everyone in John's audience is saying, no, don't do this, I still think it's pretty wild that he just went ahead and did it anyway. What do you guys think? I'm really, really interested to hear your guys' opinions in the comments below. Please let me know what you think about this story and whether or not you're personally as upset about this as a lot of people in John's audience seem to be. But either way, make sure to subscribe to this channel, guys, if you want to see more videos like this in the near future. And make sure to hit that like button, too. It really helps us beat that algorithm. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time here on Screen Fiends.